Welcome to ATE MCQ. Now let us solve a problem. The Laplace transform of e power minus a modulus t for a greater than 0. So that is given for us. e power minus a modulus of t. For the case that a is greater than 0. So the definition can be further uh, clearly interpreted as, let us take the signal as x of t. So it has got two conditions, e power minus a into minus t for t less than 0. Into minus t for t less than 0. And it is e power minus a into t for positive values of t. For t greater than or equal to so this is your x of t. We are just assigning it to a signal x of t. e power minus a into modulus of t is assigned to x of t. So altogether it becomes e power minus a into t for t less than zero plus a. And here it is e power minus ap for t greater than or equal to g. So this is your resulting x of t. Now we want to find the Laplace transform. So this signal is a combination of two signals. One is a right-sided sequence. This one is a left-sided sequence L, S, S, which means that this signal exists on the left-hand side of the axis, of y-axis. And when t is greater than or equal to 0, it means that the signal lies on the right hand side. Or it is a right sided sequence. It is a right sided sequence. So if you just plot it, maybe roughly I can just give a plot just for interpretation about how to plot the given time domain signal. And Both side of sequence signal plus the motor zero. So this is how the signal t power minus a t is a modulus of t is graphically represented. This is for just understanding purpose. You substitute a value for a and you substitute a value for t, you can just notice that you will get a signal of this form. Now let us go ahead with determining the Laplace transform of e power minus a into modulus of t. So the Laplace transform of the, of any signal is given as x of s is equal to integration between minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus s t into t. Since the signal is a x of t is a combination of two signals, the sub integration between minus infinity to zero, that is this part, the left sided sequence part. Okay, so you have x of t as e power ac into e power minus st dt plus integration between 0 to infinity e power minus cat into e power minus st d. Okay, so this one corresponds to the Laplace transform substitute in the, in the, so this one refers to the left hand side, left sided sequence and this e power minus e t refers to the right sided sequence between limits 0 to infinity. So this minus infinity to 0 e power minus of minus a into t dt plus integration between 0 to infinity e power minus 
minus of s plus a into b c. So this is what we have for x of s. Now if you perform integration for these two terms, for this term and this term, x of n can be further rewritten as x of s is equal to d power minus minus of s minus a into t dt is upon integration becomes d power minus of s minus a into t divided by minus of s minus a between limits minus infinity to zero plus for the second integration we get d power minus of s plus a into t the whole divided by minus of s plus a between limits 0 to infinity. So when you substitute the limits you can just e power minus of s minus a into 0 minus the lower limit is e power minus of s minus a into minus infinity. The whole divided by minus of s minus a. Plus for the second term you get e power minus of s plus a into infinity minus the lower limit is e power minus of s plus a into 0, the whole divided by minus of s plus a. What you can notice is this term and this term becomes 0, both of which becomes 0. So you will have e power 0, you have 1 divided by minus of s minus a plus here you have minus 1 divided by minus of s plus a so on cancellation you have minus 1 divided by s minus a plus 1 divided by s plus a if you take the lc and you get minus s minus a plus s minus a the whole divided by s square minus a square so minus s and plus s upon cancellation get minus 2a the whole divided by s square minus a square now we are supposed to find the roc roc can be determined easily from the single pole function. So if you consider in this problem, you have two single pole function. What I mean by single pole function? This is one single pole function which corresponds to the left side of the sequence. Single pole function that corresponds to the left side of the sequence. And this is the single pole function that corresponds to the right side of the sequence. So this is your right side of R and this is your left side of C. So if you want to find the ROC, the region of conversion, ROC 1, so let the first ROC refers to the ROC of the left side of sequence and the second ROC refers to the ROC of the right side of sequence. Okay? Intersection of these two will get you the overall ROC. Because since you have two single pole functions, you cannot find the ROC from this particular final expression. You can find the ROC only from these two single pole functions. That is this one and this one. We are supposed to use these two in order to determine the ROC. So for the first case, for the first term, let me write ROC1. ROC1 is nothing but 
let me write it as the pole is a so let me just write it as real part of s and the pole is a if i equate the denominator to zero i get s is equal to a so a since this one corresponds to a left side of sequence we just put a less than sign real part of s is less than a okay and you come for the second roc roc2 again here you will have real part of s the pole is s plus a is equal to 0 which means that s is equal to minus a okay so that will be your so you have minus a since this particular term corresponds to a right sided sequence you just put a greater than sign you just put a greater than sign that's it now you are supposed to combine these two now we know that minus a is on the minus a will be so you have real part of s imaginary part of s let the pole minus a be somewhere here take this to be minus a and this one to be plus a so both the poles are plotted so for roc1 you will have the region of convergence you can just notice here it is less than a the roc is less than a that is the roc is inside a so let me just represent that roc by you just draw a vertical line and then you have the ROC is less than A. So this is your ROC. The ROC is less than A. Okay, I'll just draw a vertical line for minus a, vertical to minus a. I'll be having it here. Now it is mentioned that the ROC is outside minus a. It is on the right hand side of minus a. When you say, once you say that uh, real part of S is less than a, the region of convergence is on the left hand side of a. Once you say that the real part of S is greater than minus a, the ROC is on the right hand side of minus a. So let me just draw a horizontal line for the ROC 2. So we we'll have it. So extends up to infinity actually. Okay, now what you can notice is the overall ROC is the region of overlap. The overall ROC of the given problem is basically the region of overlap. So the region of overlap will be between region of overlap with respect to minus a and plus a. So only this part is going to be the overall ROC. So, the overall ROC is on the right hand side of minus A and it is, it is between, the overall ROC is between minus A and plus A. So, how can I mention the overall ROC? The overall ROC can be mentioned as real part of S, it is greater than minus A. So, put minus A, real part of S is greater than minus A and it is less than a it is less than a so this is your overall ROC overall ROC is nothing but the intersection of ROC 1 and ROC 2 finally the overall ROC is nothing but ROC 1 intersection ROC 2 
so the overall velocity is in minus a and a so a is your correct solution option a is your correct is correct thank you